Hello, good morning, where do you came from? Perfect stranger I've been waiting on Right place at the right time Nobody can tell me you ain't my mind Yeah To be honest, I've never been this bold Your personality, it warms my soul All they ever do is lie to you, baby Tell them how the niggas bye-bye Yeah Come over here so I know you love my accent Hi guys, welcome back to the Island Family. As you can see, I haven't had much sleep last night. Um, we've uh, arrived at Casino Hospital at 2 in the morning, about 2.30 in the morning. Um, just here with Babe. And little Island Boy. So what's happened guys is that Island has had a fever. He was very, very unsettled. Um, on the way home from uh, from Sydney to Casino, um, you know, the night before that he was, had a bit of a temperature, so I didn't have any a Panadol on me at the time, so I, you know, grabbed some rags and um, cooled them down, cooled his body down and things, and until I was able to get to a pharmacy the next day, as we were leaving uh, to come back home. Now we're really worried because you know of the COVID situation that's happening here in Australia right now. Me and Babe are just like you know freaking out. Babe, you got anything to say? Yeah, we're just hoping for the best right now, guys. You know we're in isolation right now at the hospital, so yeah, just hoping for the best. Yeah. So guys, that's what we're doing right now. Is just you know, both of us haven't had much sleep. We're really tired, so um, you know, just hoping and praying for the best, you know, outcome, guys. You know, we're just we've been tested, the three of us. So just to be safe, um, I personally don't think it's COVID, but we don't know. So that's why we're here. We're here to find out what's wrong with Ireland and why he's having these really high temperatures. So as you can see, guys, when we arrived, the reason why I said to Babe, Babe, his temperature's really high, it's not going down. That was after I gave him Panadol. We came and they tested it was 39.8. Then they came in about another two hours later, it went down after they'd given him neuro, like Nurofen, which is like Panadol, like another dose of Panadol, basically. And then it came, they came back and they did another one. So they're just keeping an eye on Ireland and just hoping that everything is it's gonna be alright, yeah. yeah. So that's what's up, guys. And today marks what day? Father's Day. Yeah, today is Father's Day, guys. So we're here, stuck at the hospital. And it's now, what time is it? 8.30 in the morning. We've been here since 2.30 in the morning. So yeah, we've been here all night, guys. So yeah, sorry, we look like crap, but you know. It's my first morning in, in Cassie, you know, you know. When I should be, you know, settled in and, you know, just enjoying every moment. But, I mean, there'll be plenty of that. But it's just crazy. You know, I'm, I'm just, I just want a little out of here to feel better as well, you know. Mm, for sure. Because he's been very unsettled. Yeah. So, right now, what we've been told to do is we've been told to um, give Island drink, plenty of drink which he's not really taking right now. We need to get his pee. We need to get his pee, yeah. So, where's a little cup? Somewhere there. Somewhere. I don't know. We've got a little cup the doctor's given us to, so he can urine in it, because we think that it might not even be COVID. It could be just a urine bladder infection. So, I don't know, guys. Anyways, um, stay tuned. We'll let you know the update later. Blessings, guys. Pray for us. Yeah. Hey guys, Island, say hi to everyone. Hi. So guys, Island has come sort of better. Ah. Um, we managed ah. to get a urine sample from him. He actually done a poo and a urine. And ah. Here we have the sick patient, um, Mr. Tyrone Smith. He has been <laughs> farting all ah. this time. Guys, uh, guys. Gas chambers in here and guys. it's not a competition. It is a competition, that's why it's been happening. You see how it's obvious? She said before I said it. No, it's not obvious. Yes, that's what's been happening. Anyways, guys, yes, so Ireland is now up and running around and we are just waiting.
to hopefully leave. We came here at two o'clock in the morning, about 2.30 in the morning. It's, it's now quarter to one in the afternoon, guys. Yeah. We haven't eaten anything. Well, actually, I haven't eaten anything. I'm hungry as well. Babe ate cornflakes, wheat after bix, that, after that, rice that. bubbles. If you know me, I already know so me, I'm a, me a heavy food, my me is a foodie. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I'm like, something that can't work for me. I know, I know. Well, guys, there we go. That's what it is. So, guys, that's what's up. Yeah. Island. Island. Uh, we had to put these on island. Islands, yeah, because they were going to put a cannula in there. Pardon me. Um, because he wouldn't drink. So, um, they were going to feed him fluids or give him fluids so that we can get a, a pee motion. Lucky lady, we look tired as hell because yeah. we are actually tired as hell. Not even teeth brush, nothing. Need mm. a bath. Everything right now in there. He does. I I made sure I was ready for this. Okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Anyways, can't wait to get out of here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Yeah. Bye. Bye guys. So guys, we're home now and we decided, oh I'm gonna turn that off because it's copyright. We decided babe's cooking, so we're home now. Home, home, sweet home. Yes, so that's a go on, isn't it? Yeah. We just reach in and things so we just have a second long, isn't it? Yeah guys, cook some food and enjoy yourself. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning my beautiful people. Welcome back to the Island Family Channel. Yeah guys, so uh this is now i think i believe my second morning now in australia guys so yesterday what happened we spent the whole day hospital yeah. with little island he's not well but we got good news we're all covid free, free. <laughs> yeah guys so we, we test come back negative and we're really happy so now guys it's yeah i'm here everything is new to me and things so i'm just slowly adjusting and one of the first thing that, that already hit me is the coldness guys like yeah i really feel the cold i'm not gonna lie this morning was the coldest of them all you see me so um yeah i'm i'm slowly adjusting right now i've on two jumper right now you see me and yeah i'm telling baby that i need some gloves right now because my hands it's like i don't want any part of my body to left out but yeah guys um i'll get there soon enough the sun is out so outside might be warmer than inside right now yeah guys so yeah second morning in australia and thing you see me guys so um today we don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet might go visit um maria's dad which is my father-in-law of course you see me um you might you might not see that yet because you know i'm just gonna meet them and things so you know probably later on down the track you'll get to meet them as well so yeah guys and we're planning to probably go to the beach that's what's up babe yeah yeah so. probably go for a little walk down the beach because we're still in lockdown for the next four days yeah until the next four days and then after that and um, we'll be free to go anywhere and everywhere we want to go. Yeah. Right now we're just going to stay within our local um, local air, government area, as they call it, LGA. Mm. So, um, yeah, so basically that's what we're going to do. But um, I would love to go and get some fish, though, because I know Babe's wanting to eat fish for, for yeah. a very long <laughs> time now. So, yeah, and, you know, Ireland's, you know, being a bit fussy because yeah, it's not well, but... It's not too well. Um, I believe it's a stomach bug that he has. I, mm. I, the doctor couldn't give me a right answer to what it is, but mm. he said it's a virus, if anything. So I think Ireland maybe have eaten something that didn't sit well with his belly mm. and he's just been like very unsettled since. But, um, you know, sooner or later he'll come back again and he'll be the happy little island that we always see yeah. on our beautiful vlogs. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for, you know, um, subscribing all the new sub subbies and all the old subbies for your amazing support and we appreciate every single one of you yeah but thank you guys yeah, and man. sorry i look like crap because i just <laughs> woke out of bed <laughs> yeah it's early morning guys so yeah that's what's up and i also want to show you guys some 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 pictures that um be uh some pictures that we took together you know and be a put them on the wall here i just want to show you guys just all right just let's go this is one of our pictures together guys. Hopefully you guys can see it good. 
You see me? That's so beautiful. And look at that. That's Baby Island in 3D. 3D, right? Yeah, in 3D. Yes. Yeah, so I, I know the other pictures are just family. Yeah. yeah. They're all family. So family totally. pictures. Yeah. yeah. And that's Babe Country. You know, Country Flag, Argentina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys. And uh, look at these, these ones, guys. That's our wedding photo. Me, Maria, and little Bobo. A little Bobo right here. Remember <laughs> this? And that's um that's Maria, that's me, and that's my mom right there as well. Yeah, our wedding picture again. And this is us. Uh, I think this is this first time at Boston Beach. I think this is Boston Beach. Yeah, Boston Beach. Yeah. And oh, this is at Winifred Beach. Yeah, this is at and Winifred. They have a yeah, they are for wedding. And this, where is this again? Um, going towards St. Thomas. Oh yes, going that. towards St. Thomas. And this is um, our wedding photo as well. Yeah. There you go, that's really beautiful. <laughs> and look over here, like guys, literally, she has picture everywhere of us. <laughs> and that's us again. This is at Dunsborough Falls, guys. Yeah. And this is her wedding, I mean, <laughs> what am I saying? Her pregnant, when she was pregnant, this photo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's us, that's um, back at my that's where I was living in Jamaica. Yeah, that's at the beach, isn't it? And that's my flag right there. Isn't it? So, be, be making me feel at home. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I really love it. Yeah, so. Uh, all right, and this, this, this um, art right here, guys, was a gift to Maria. Isn't it? So, this is a beautiful one. <laughs> Yeah, man. Alright. And that's us. Um, This picture was taken at the Blue Lagoon. Yeah, and thanks to um, Janice for, for making this possible. If you guys, some of you guys seen that vlog. That was beautiful. And that's a picture of Babe and Highland. <laughs> it looks like he's giving attitude. Oh, yeah, guys. And this is us again at the Blue Lagoon still. Beautiful photograph. Big up, big up Dex Media, isn't it? Yeah, hey guys, that's us as a family right there. And this is in Kingston at the airport. Um, second time. Mary, yeah, our second time I together. Was pre well, pregnant along the way there. <laughs> yeah, and this is Island again in 3D. This is beautiful, guys. And then my family. Yeah, yeah. Babes, family, family and things. Mom, dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah guys. That's it. Yeah, man, it's beautiful. I'm loving it. We have a little surprise, guys. You know, um, Babe bought something um, before I, I came here, right? And it's it's very special to us because for a while we've been wanting this. And, you know, I just want to say that this is made possible by you guys, mm -hmm. right? And what are we talking? We're talking about the beautiful DJI Mavic Mini, Mini 2. 2 drone drone and yeah it's if, if it wasn't for you guys we probably wouldn't have got this anytime soon yeah so guys thanks so thanks guys to you we want to thank all our supporters mm -hmm. for the for, for you guys that watch the ads we really genuinely appreciate that yes you understand because you know that so we generate a, a little income from youtube you understand so we really appreciate that Definitely. we appreciate everyone that thumbs up our video yes even if you thumbs it down it doesn't matter we still appreciate you you understand but really give thanks to our subscribers the people that that share the people that comment you understand and let them know let us know that they're supporting Definitely. you know just even to mention a little part of a video that they probably like or you know just their encouraging words we really appreciate it yes. and just want to say it again guys this is made possible by you guys who Big watch the yourself. ads yeah man so right now this is gonna make our videos look Extra. more professional you understand i'm more I, this is gonna be an upgrade right now because you guys are gonna get footage from the here now you see me yeah guys some nice scenery you see it so stay tuned for this guys mm -hmm. uh the, the thing is now we probably we're probably gonna need a macbook laptop because from what we understand is that uh these it, work well with mac yeah with mac so my computer don't I haven't tried it yet because still i haven't um unboxed it yet 
So we're gonna try to figure out how to fly it, watch YouTube videos and stuff. But I'm I'm still wondering if it's possible I can edit the footage on my computer. You know, I know I for sure I can sh I can shoot in 4K because my computer can handle 4K. Um, mm. the pros, yeah, it, it's too powerful. So I would have to shoot in 1080p, which is the standard YouTube quality. You know, so no problem with that. I just want to know that I can edit in Adobe Premiere because that's what I use. Mm -hmm. And from what I did, did you say it works with um, iMovie yes. and, and Final Cut Pro? Yes. So that's what I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit like, you know, worried about because it didn't say Adobe Premiere. So that's why I'm wondering if the footage gonna actually hold. Yeah, if they're gonna actually work in in my, on my editing program. Yeah. So. We're open for the best, guys. Yeah. You see, so yeah, but hopefully soon we can get this sort out. And yeah, we're, we're gonna try probably to test this drone today. So stay tuned for that. All right. Blessings, guys. Bless, guys. All right, guys, so we're going to unbox this um, DJ Mini. Yeah. And yeah, we're going to open it up so that we can see what comes with it and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, here we go, guys. I'll try to figure out this. So it's open here, but I need to get the plastic off first. So, guys, this drone cost us. What was the price on it again, baby? Seven hundred and fifty. It's on there, I think. Okay. Yeah, the price is seven hundred and forty-eight yeah. Australian dollars. So in US, not sure. Probably yeah, have to put that it's um, it's it would be roughly about the same, maybe thirty, forty dollars cheaper. Okay. So it would be seven hundred US dollars. Yeah. So it's it's quite expensive. But it's uh, it's well worth it, you know. Because the difference the difference between US and Australian dollars is that US is a little bit stronger by a dollar. Yeah. Something like that. So, um, twenty Australian dollars would be sixteen American US dollars. Yeah. Look at this guy. Not much of a difference, guys. Just a few dollars. Look at mm -hmm. that, guys. This is the drone. Wow, look at the propellers. They're really um, thin, aren't they? Yeah. Oh. Jesus. First time holding a drone, guys. Wow. Yeah. Is it light? Let me think. Yeah, it's light. It's oh, light. wow. It's light as a bloody feather. <laughs> yeah, the, oh, well, I, it's the mini, That's so. That's crazy. But yeah, it's quite light. Wow. That's amaze balls. Yeah, so this must be the, the um, manual. Yeah, the manual. What does it say here about Australian government? Is there something here? Look, I just saw the Australian government sticker. Where is it? Something about. Oh, that's all right. We'll find it eventually. Yeah. So this must be the charging cable or charging cable. USB or something. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. That must, must be where you connect probably a phone or something. I don't know. Well, guys, we're new to this, so we're just trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess you get um, probably this is like an extra propeller. Or we'll probably have to put these on. Yeah, extra propeller. Yeah. It does come with an extra two, I think he said. I can't oh, remember. This is a screwdriver. Wow, it's all mechanically. Yeah. Oh, this is the the control. So. I think I think you basically you hook up your phone on it as well, you know, to, for your screen and all of that. Yes, yeah, so this is nice. Wow. Don't mind my hands, guys. Um, my hands are really white because I'm cold. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. Oh gosh. Wow. I'm, ne I'm never gonna hear the end of it, guys. It's cold. It's cold. Ah, it's cold. Yeah, this feels nice. It feels like a, a game control, like yeah. Wow, it feels like I'm. Woo, feels this way. It's so nice. Oh yeah, yeah. for real. Jeez. Yeah, this is nice, guys. This is nice. Oh, and you can like take a picture right here and all of these. Guys, we're gonna figure it out. It's gonna Ooh, take what's some What's that? I'm not too sure. Antenna. Yeah, it must be. Mm, cool. yeah. Anyways, let's not break it. Yeah. <laughs> 
we're gonna have to watch some youtube videos and figure this out guys so stay tuned yeah man now we're gonna get some crazy scenery shots stay tuned guys we yeah, can't man. wait to use this on the mountains and waterfalls and all that good stuff it's an upgrade to the family channel right now guys mm -hmm. Mad. <laughs> this is it guys all unfold <laughs> gimbal it's in 4k nice guys So, me and Bia take a little road trip down to where? Balana. Balana. Yes, yeah, so, um, you just showed me the beat, the, well, the ocean right now. Yeah, let's see what we're in locked down, we can't really go fishing all that. Yeah, yeah, so just uh, look around. Alright, let's go, guys. It's very windy and the wind is very chilly guys mm. even though the sun is out yeah so it's nice you can get oysters and stuff like down here yeah the sea, like the shell that you see yeah yeah um, yeah for it looks like a, well it seems like people eat them a lot though yeah because it seems like it's pure empty open. shell yeah. yeah all of them open yeah, yeah. hey guys son some nice mangrove so over that side. A nice time for fishing. Yeah. Because uh, it's like it, it seems like a very quiet, like it's smooth, like smooth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Sometimes you can see the fish swimming through. But Jesus. Yeah. yeah can't we have? Can't wait to come fishing? I swear. <laughs> yeah, guys. But I forgot get my license and everything, you know. Yeah. So I mean, I just you know just arrive and think so. We we'll get something sort of before you can do certain things as it so yeah guys I'm excited mm. yeah, I can't wait to go get some mud crabs and get some truth valley and some flathead and some what kind of fish barramundi and <laughs> guys I know about these fish because I watch a lot of youtubers um, especially um, YBS Youngbloods feels there. Um, if you know, probably the people that watch fishing vlogs would, would know about these people. So, yeah, and these guys are actually in Australia, you know, so it's amazing. Hopefully, one day I can get to meet them. They're legends. <laughs> yeah, man. It's nice, guys. Yeah, so we are gonna um, get some fish farm um, to go home with as well out here. So, yeah. And also the mud crabs, I'm excited to catch mud crabs because those crabs look so huge and yeah, they look tasty as hell. Can't wait for that too. Yeah, guys. But I'm not going to lie, the sun is out but my hands are st st cold, yo. He's feeling it, guys. Yeah, been wanting to get uh, gloves for my hands because, yeah, it's really cold. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, they have some boats over here. It's like a little mini harbor. Yeah, I think people leave their cart there. They rent out this harbor, like yeah. Here and stuff, so yeah. It's really nice, guys. Guys, we just went to have the fish market and bought this fish. Um, remind me of a fish we have in Jamaica that's called blackjack, because it kind of like similar look with even the stripe and the, the darkness of it. But oh, it comes scaled. What? Oh, oh no, you got to take the scales off. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it, it, it also feels like it doesn't have scales. It doesn't, yeah, it feels like a heady tail. Oh, I need to test it. Let me see. It feels like it doesn't have scales. Oh, it does have scales. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't even remember the name, but yeah, it almost looks like a jack that we have in Jamaica. Yeah, and I've always seen they catch these fish in Australia and they look tasty so i'm gonna try it out so what are you how are you gonna cook it what's uh, your plan to cook i don't it? know yet i might just do steam fish bobo island or smile fish fish Escovy. Which, yeah i mean it's a big fish it can go in many different ways so yeah just cooking up something for this evening this afternoon so that's what's up that that does a pre yeah man that i pre i <laughs> got it <laughs> yeah, guys. so we could have gotten it scaled at the fish market but i decided i'm gonna scale it myself yeah you know, there, there's a man in the house now guys so that's you know, it i can get the job done that's it yeah. Ooh, i love it <laughs> yeah guys 
It's a bit hard to skew. Can tell that already. Because you know back home guys, this is something I do like on a regular. It's, it's, to me it's definitely a jack species though. That's what I'm gonna say. I mean here in Australia they probably use na different names for these fish. Like even a fish that I seen in Australia they call the mangrove jack. And in Jamaica that's like a, a snapper, we call it in Jamaica. So yeah, different different countries, different names, you know, so yeah. Different names, same fish. Yeah, call it that. <laughs> or same species, yeah. Yeah. What do you have the water for? Huh? Well, I'm just gonna rinse it off. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Professional. Oh, Island, be careful. And we have Bobo here. He wants to be a cleaner. Well, not really, but I mean, he just loves the broom. Give me a smile. Hi, everyone. Wave hello. Good boy. Can everybody get a kiss? Can everybody kiss? That, nah. that. Yeah, good boy. He's feeling much better now, aren't you, Island? That. Yep. The chef daddy. <laughs> so guys, basically baby's um, going far and beyond. Cooking me some steamed fish and um, um, escovy fish. Escovy fish. There, this is bomb. Okay. And I said that I've been craving Jamaican food, but also Babe has been craving Jamaican food because. Quarantine food is literally not something that you want to try or have for 14 days straight Which Bay will talk about that eventually in his next vlog coming out quarantine vlog um, So yeah, really really happy and pleased that Babe is you know making himself at home and comfortable with the surroundings and also cooking the food he loves the most and I love the most and Island, Island, Island What's wrong? Why are you complaining to dad? You see daddy's cooking? You see daddy's cooking? Dad, you got some set? Yeah, so that's what's up, you know? Making myself at home, just doing what must be done, you see? <laughs> I love it, guys. This is yeah. this is what you call real men at work, cooking for his family, you know? And being a soup island, usually. Hey, Bobo. He's a lot better, guys, so that's a good start. That shows you that he's being sook sook. Daddy, what do you do to daddy? Dada cooking. Nah. Keep boy. Kiss. And that? I got pepper on my lips, so. No, I do too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dada. Dada. Yeah, don't pull daddy's hairs, so he'll probably cry. <laughs> Dada. Dada. Yeah guys, so that's the vibe.